Hi, kids. Hi, Mr. Jade. How are you doing? Real good. Listen, I uh, recently sat in on a violator's school. Do any of you know what that is? Isn't that where they send you after you get so many points on your driving record? That's it, exactly. You know, it's hard to believe, but there wasn't one person there who felt they deserved all those points or that an accident was actually their fault. You'd have people who rear-ended someone, maybe more than once, and they blame it on the weather or the other driver or just about anything but themselves. You'd think they'd get the idea after a while. Some people never do. I once read something like 90% of all people think they're better drivers or safer drivers than average. You know, they'll say, well, I only have two points, so I've only been in one accident. Well, I tell you, I left that class about 10 minutes early because I didn't want to be on the road at the same time as those people. It could be suicide out there with them. It could be. But we're out there with them, and people like them every day. And that's what I want to talk to you about. You're always going to have to watch out for the bad drivers, all the time. But just as important, you're going to have to watch out for the good drivers with a few bad habits, like the guy who pretends to stop at stop signs. So you've got to realize that it's the little things that will kill you. And you always have to drive defensively. Now, let's talk about some of these little things that you'd see an experienced driver, even a good driver, do. Right, what's an example? Uh, well, like you said, some people don't stop at stop signs. They just kind of slow down and roll through. Now, why is that so bad? Well, when people do that, they usually slow down enough to look at traffic. But you know, they usually just look at traffic coming from the left if they're going to make a right turn. But then they don't look to the right until they're already turning. There could be a person crossing or a bicycle coming on the wrong side of the street. But people do it all the time. And for what, to save a couple of seconds? What's another example of a thing you'd see an experienced driver do wrong? Well, a lot of people don't look both ways when they start up from a green light. What's so important about that? My mother used to tell me to count to three before starting up on a green light. But if someone's going to run a red light, they're going to run it any time. So just look both ways before you go. But you don't want to hold up traffic. What's probably the biggest safety oversight people make? Seat belts. Yeah, seat belts. What about them, Janet? They take only a couple seconds. And you can never tell when someone like in your violator class will run into you. After all the statistics that have been done, I don't know why anyone wouldn't wear their seat belt. There are more than 400,000 injuries a year that could be prevented if everybody wore seat belts. Now, there's one common mistake you see a lot of people make with seat belts. Anyone want to take a guess at what it is? Do you ever see anybody put their seat belt on after they're already driving? Oh, yeah, my brother does that all the time. Sometimes I do if I forget it first. Well, the problem is you can lose control for just a second as you're doing it. Sometimes you can see people swerve when they do it. My brother once hit a bag of garbage. I bet it took him longer to clean it up than all the time he saved in a year by buckling up on the guy. Another thing people do is not adjust their seat or mirrors until they're moving. It's like putting on your seat belts that way. Good. What's another thing people don't do or do wrong? What's something you do when you're not driving with the engine off? Maintenance checks. OK, like what? Well, there are four or five main things you check every couple weeks. Your oil level, see if you have enough coolant, and washer fluid. Change the wiper blades if they need it, and check the tire pressure. And how long should all that take? Oh, uh, maybe three minutes. Well, something a lot of people do is speed. Well, especially at night when they overdrive their headlights. What do you mean by that? Well, it takes you so long to stop. Well, but sometimes, like if your windshield or headlights are dirty, you can't see far enough ahead to stop in time. You might not see a hazard soon enough. Speeding during the day is bad enough. It's even more dangerous at night. But it's not just at night when people don't see things. It happens during the day all the time. If your mind isn't in on driving, you're not going to see that kid jump out in front of you. When people talk to the police after an accident, they say they didn't see the kid, or the car, or the motorcycle. And they're telling the truth. They really didn't see it. And that's sad. It's kind of like daydreaming. 
Sometimes your mind's a million miles away, instead of a few seconds in front of you. It doesn't take much to cause an accident. You could be distracted if you're eating a sandwich, or if something fell off the dashboard and you try and pick it up. By the time you look up, it's too late. Anyone have a pet peeve about what other drivers do? Tailgating. A lot of people don't leave that two-second following distance or that four-second braking distance. They climb up right behind you and can't stop in time. How many millions of rear-end accidents did you say there were, Mr. Gerard? Over four million every year. And that's the kind of thing there shouldn't be any of. All you got to do is leave a little more space. Or how about blind spots? You shouldn't change lanes if you don't look first. Your mirrors just don't do it all. I don't think some people even check their mirrors. They just go. You always have to look before you make your move. And then there's drinking. You shouldn't drive if you've been drinking. It's really dangerous. Well, like you say, you have to drive defensively. Well, with one out of 10 drivers on the road at night drunk, you've always got to be looking out. You know, something a lot of people don't know about is drugs, the legal kind. They can make you tired or slow you down, just like alcohol or illegal drugs. If you say it doesn't matter or you have to go somewhere, that's just as bad as drinking. Something else is falling asleep at the wheel. There are a lot of accidents where people just run off the road. If you're tired, get some sleep. I know there are some spots where it's not convenient to stop, but if you have to sleep in the car because you're too tired to drive, make sure your doors are locked and turn off the engine. If you're out when you're usually sleeping, you're going to get tired, so plan your trips so you drive alert. It's just common sense, most of the stuff. Don't have to be a genius to play it safe. But you're sure an idiot when you do it wrong. It's bad habits, the little things, they're easy to fall into. Take example from the good drivers around you. But even they make mistakes. And you'll make them too. You'll be in a hurry or you just won't be paying attention. But it's like you said, it's those little things that can kill you. And you've got to watch for them, in yourself and in others. And it's those little things that will keep you alive. All set? Let's go. Mm -hmm. 